Don't touch it. Ah, uh, feels good to be behind the wheel again. Good morning. My name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Bet YouTube channel. Today is a day filled of soccer and soon to be donuts. So let's go get her some donuts. Yum, yum, yum. Donuts accomplished, but now we gotta get drinks. All right, so this is why we had to get donuts and drinks because it's soccer time. So we're early. And we'll just wait for everybody else to show up. So they're getting a little practice in before the game. Ryan and them play for soccer. No fair! No fair! That is, you have one. There we go, Cohen. Yeah, Cohen, kick it out. Good job. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Bless you, Abby. Hey, it's better than a goal. Dude, took all the blankets. I can't. Abby, sit down. Stop. 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 Riley. 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 But this is some of their a, friends. This is the same um, <laughs> field where we was at my soccer practice, but not in my soccer practice. Right. So I'm in a big, big field. Yep, so we're in the big field, and you were actually over in this little field yeah. over there. Yeah. And how did your game go, Cohen? Um, kind of, kind of bad and kind of good. Kind of bad, kind of good? Yeah. But you had fun? Yeah, because... I kind of had it. Yeah, we got kicked yeah. right in the Yeah, I got right kicked in the shin. In the or the, the heel, I mean. Yeah. Right got in the heel. Kicked right in the heel. Yeah. Because I think I got this, um, a point so inside. His, his ankle, like, they kicked him right down here. So it got him in the heel, and then yeah. it kicked up to his ankle. But yeah, he's all right. Yeah, I am. His socks are soaking wet, so we had to we had to just take them off and get some clean ones when we get home yeah, after mean. soccer. <laughs> Whew, what's up, guys? We're at Midway Motors here in Hutch, and we just gotta show you this. Don't touch it. How you guys doing? How are you? Pretty good. Has somebody helping you? Nah, we uh, the gentleman just come out, and we told him we were just coming to check this out. I keep seeing it on Facebook and I'm like, yeah, it's a beautiful car. Don't touch. Do not touch. Yes, don't touch it. What? Hold on. I'm still walking around this Corvette. Because all I keep getting is you guys. <laughs> Don't touch it, Bubba. We have that. Which one, that? We have that one right there. C5. Bam. And then behind us, we have this lovely Camaro. I love to get one of these. <laughs> That's one of your friends? Yes. <laughs> Real quick before we end off the vlog, I've got my day by day devotions for dads. And today it reads The Prodigal Son Part 3. The older brother was angry. <laughs> 
angry, <laughs> angry and wouldn't go in. His father came out and begged him, but he replied, All these years I've slaved for you and never once refused to do a single thing you told me to. And in all that time you never gave, gave me even one young goat for a feast with my friends. Luke fifteen twenty eight through 29 You cannot blame the older son for being jealous. <coughs> Excuse me, I got sneeze. Whew. Her cough. The whole time they were growing up, his twerpy little brother probably got one big dose of mom and dad's attention. In recent months or years since his brother abandoned the farm, this faithful son has had to do it twice the work. As a matter of fact, do you know where he is when the homecoming party starts? He's out working in the field. Of course he's ticked. Not surprisingly, the older brother is not especially quick to forgive and forget. Thankfully, the father doesn't blow him off. To paraphrase, he says, Son, we both know your little brother's been me messing up. He deserves a good trip to the woodshed, but you have to admit, you were worried about him too. More than anything, this is a time to celebrate. By the way, I know I haven't thanked you enough for who you are and what you do. You make me proud. If you need anything, just ask. What's mine is yours. Note, this effective fathering strategy, when your kids are angry and frustrated, take them aside, confirm your love, tell them how awesome they are, give them context, speak truth, and help them see the bigger picture. What about you? Expect sibling rival rivalry? If they can work it out themselves, let them. But if not, take them one at a time to a quiet place. Let them rant, and then lay out the way it is. That's some good stuff right there. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to click the red subscribe button. We will catch you in another video tomorrow. Before we go, don't forget to ring the bell. <laughs> God bless y'all. Don't ever give up. God is here with you. Yeah. You are a child. Nothing but love is true. Just got it fixed in view. Keep your eyes on the prize. That's life everlasting. Only through Jesus Christ.